Going down for real. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey there, WLS family. It's been probably about two months since you've seen this face. Um, still pretty much holding steady. I'm about one, whoa, no, 210. Um, that would be incredible. Uh, I'm just not being very mindful still living my life. My life is very busy and I've let certain things get away from me. Um, but the number one purpose right now of this video is it was my one year surge anniversary last week. Um, so this is coming at you one year surge anniversary video uh, one week late. I had my VSG surgery on October 7th, 2014 in Piedras Negras, Mexico with Dr. Alvarez, who was awesome. The facility was awesome. The staff was awesome. It was just great all around. Um, I have lost a total of 220 pounds at this point. Um, I accomplished that probably about three or four months ago. Um, so I'll be the first to admit that it could have been more and that I've slacked off here toward the end. Um, I'm not really gaining any weight. I'm not really losing any weight. Um, I'm just kind of, my body has found this comfy place. Um, but it's found at this comfy place in um, the reemergence of some bad habits. Um, it's remained normal, the same and steady, but I am remaining the same and steady by returning to some ways that don't need to be returned to. Um, so today, I like I said, I've been pretty much holding steady between the same two pounds for about three months. Um, but this morning I woke up and I'd put on a pound above that two that I'd been fluxing in. And my entire being went, oh, hell no. Hell no. Um, so I am back on my fitness pal. I am logging and I'm tracking. This morning I had eggs with ham and cheese in it. I had yogurt for lunch. I'm halfway through my protein shake. This is a regular serving of Java Pro in a big shaker. Um, I can do it in a short shaker or a big shaker. I like to do a big shaker these days because that way I know when I finished it I've gotten 20 ounces of fluid in because I've been very very bad about fluids. I am actually an amazing anomaly to me because all of my habits with fluids should say that I should have ended up in the hospital at some point dehydrated and didn't. Um, so that's kind of amazing. Uh, fluids are, it's not that they're difficult for me to get down because I'm a year out. I can get them down. I can drink like seven full swallows these days. If I take a break and do like a five day liquid diet thing, back to basics thing, I'll be able to take five again, which is more where I was a few months after surgery. Um, but it's always been a thing in my life that I don't drink a lot, that it's this end of the night thing. I get to the end of the day and all of a sudden I want to drink a gallon of water because I haven't had any water all day. Um, but I can't do that. I can take seven drinks at a time and get fluids in me. So even now, a year out, I'm aware of dehydration being a risk, but I don't notice thirst during the day. I just don't notice being thirsty during the day. It doesn't, it doesn't occur to me until I'm done with my day, I'm at home, maybe we're getting ready for dinner, whatever, and all of a sudden I'm like, you know what sounds awesome? An ice cold glass of water. Um, so that continues to be an issue. Um, lots of big changes in my life. I know the last time I came to you, I told you I was engaged. I am starting the process of all of that. So life-wise, I'm in the middle of putting together a wedding. My father sold the home that he has had for 17 years and moved into another one. So I've been adjusting to that and just lots of things going on for me. That's why I haven't been completely ever present lately. Um, maybe I'll do a little more. I do need to check in with the community a little bit better because 
you know, you guys ground me. You make things um, better focused. I, I focus better uh, on my tasks and what I should be doing when I'm here. And when I check out and into my busy life, it becomes this whole thing where I'm like, I'm steady, I'm good, I'm the least amount of weight I've ever been that I can remember in my entire life, so why get all worked up about not being a goal, you know, like maybe my goal is unreasonable. Um, I don't necessarily know that my goal is unreasonable, I was talking about that with my therapist recently about unreasonable expectations, what maybe might be my comfy place for my body. And while I feel like my body has found a comfy place, it's found a comfy place in bad habits. If my habits were better, I believe its comfy place would be lower. Um, so I just need to readjust my habits again, get back into the right mode, and um, get all of that together. Uh, because while, yeah, I can function in my, the functionality of my life is exactly what I hoped for out of this surgery. I would really like to be out of the twos and in the one hundreds. I would like to be a wonderlander. And, um, if I can do that, then maybe, maybe that's where my body is comfortable at. A little higher in the ones, maybe, but I'd like to be out of the twos. So it's time to refocus and things like that. And I know I sound like probably sound like a broken record because to you this is just another video after one I did two months ago. But you know I I keep taking a minute and refocusing, and then I get off track and I'm taking a minute and refocusing and getting off track. And I guess there's a little bit to be said for being kind to yourself in that you're not going to be perfect. You can't, you know, be perfect all the time. Things are going to go differently in life and going to have changes and you're going to have to adjust to that. I mean, I'm sitting here saying I need to get focused, but in the next couple of months or so, I'm going to start doing catering tastings for my wedding and, you know, so I'm going to be eating stuff. And that's just the way that goes. You know, certain things come up and they're not going to be perfect. And I, I try not to be too hard on myself in that fact and that, um, I'm a year out, and if I can be good most of the time, then perhaps I can get this the way that I want to get it, but I don't have to be perfect. Perfect is a totally unreasonable thing to be looking for, and we know that when we enter this process. We're not looking for perfect. We're looking for better, a better quality of life, and I have a fantastic quality of life. Um, Shout out to my sleeve sisters, everyone who got sleeved in uh, Og October, fall of last year, um, you know, Dixie and um, Mary Lou and everyone else, I, you know, were a year out, isn't, it doesn't seem like it happened that long ago. It feels like it just happened, doesn't it? Um, so... Congrats to everyone who's made it their year out and um, thriving. We'll just keep on thriving. So keep on thriving. Keep on working your process wherever you're at. And uh, remember to be kind to yourselves.